Hello, everyone. Nice to see you again. 如果我问大家西班牙最著名的是什么，你一定会说是斗牛 bullfight 吧？在第七十课中，我们就要看见一个精彩的斗牛场面，但是不是发生在公牛和斗牛士之间，而是发生在……好，我还是不要透露太多的信息，让大家自己来看吧。但是首先 ，keywords and expressions。Bullfight, drunk, wonder, ring, unaware, bull, matador, remark, apparently, sensitive, criticism, charge, clumsily, bow. Safety, sympathetically. 好长的一串生词，我念的有点喘不过气来了。而斗牛士与公牛之间的刀光剑影，似乎也隐约可见了。只有一个词显得有点怪怪的，那就是 drunk， 醉汉。What has a drunk got to do with a bullfight? You'll find that out by yourself. But first. Our three questions on the text. Why did the crowd begin to shout during a bullfight? 在一次斗牛期间，为什么观众突然叫了起来 ？What made the bull forget about the matador? 是什么让公牛忘记了斗牛士？ What happened to the drunk in the end? 最后那个醉汉究竟怎么样了 ？During a bullfight, a drunk suddenly wandered into the middle of the ring. The crowd began to shout, but the drunk was unaware of the danger. The bull was busy with the matador at the time, but it suddenly caught sight of the drunk. Who was shouting rude remarks and waving a red cap? Apparently sensitive to criticism, the bull forgot all about the matador and charged at the drunk. The crowd suddenly grew quiet. The drunk, however, seemed quite sure of himself. When the bull got close to him. He clumsily stepped aside to let it pass. The crowd broke into cheers, and the drunk bowed. By this time, however, three men had come into the ring, and they quickly dragged the drunk to safety. Even the bull seemed to feel sorry for him, for it looked on sympathetically. Until the drunk was out of the way, before once more turning its attention to the matador. So it seems between the drunk and the bull, there developed a kind of friendship, which could almost be described as 惺惺相惜。在公牛和那个醉汉之间，几乎发展出了一种友谊了。好，闲话少叙，看看我们前面的三个问题，大家有没有准备好答案？我们的第一个问题是 ，Why did the crowd begin to shout during a bullfight? They began to shout because a drunk suddenly wandered into the middle of the ring. 原因是一个醉汉突然闯到了斗牛场地中间。第二个问题 ，What made the bull forget about the matador? 答案应该是。The drunk was shouting rude remarks and waving a red cap. 那个醉汉不仅口出狂言，而且还挥舞着一顶红色的帽子。第三个问题 ，What happened to the drunk in the end? To our great relief, 让我们大家都松一口气的是 ，He was dragged to safety by three men. 他被三个人拖到了安全地带。Poor guy. When he woke up the next morning, 
would he still remember his wonderful performance as a matador? 不知道第二天早晨他醒来之后，是否还会记得自己头天晚上的精彩表演呢？下面让我们来看看课文中的语言点。首先，请看 ，A drunk suddenly wandered into the middle of the ring. Ring 在这里的意思是斗牛场。大家要注意，英语中不同的比赛场馆要用不同的名词来表述。当你想说排球场、篮球场、网球场或者羽毛球场的时候，你得用 court。所以我们说 volleyball court、basketball court、tennis court、badminton court。而当你想说足球场、棒球场和垒球场的时候，你就得用名词 field。所以我们说 football field、baseball field、softball field。下面来看看课文中的另外一个语言点。The crowd began to shout, but the drunk was unaware of the danger. 观众开始尖叫起来，而那个醉汉对危险却浑然不觉。Unaware of， 它的意思是不知道什么，没有注意到什么。请多看几个例句。I was unaware that he had any complaints. 我不知道他有什么抱怨。She seemed quite unaware of the other sitting around her. 她似乎对坐在身边的人没有什么察觉。又比如 ，He was aware that he had drunk too much whiskey. 那么，如果 unaware of 表示不知道。Aware of 就表示知道，所以这句话的意思是，他知道自己喝了太多的威士忌酒。If only you were aware of all the facts, you'd immediately change your mind. 如果你知道所有这些情况，你会立刻改变主意的。在这儿 ，aware of 的意思也是知道或者了解。一起来看看第三个语言点。The bull suddenly caught sight of the drunk. 那头公牛突然看见了醉汉。Catch sight of 的意思是猛然看见。请多看一个例句。I caught sight of an old friend of mine in the middle of the crowd. 我在一大群人中突然看见了一个老朋友。在讲述前面那个语言点 unaware of 的时候，我们介绍了它的反义词 aware of。现在呢，我们也不妨来看看 catch sight of 的反义词，那当然是 lose sight of， 意思是看不见什么。比如 ，We mustn't get so bogged down by detail that we lose sight of our main objectives。我们不应该太拘泥于细节。而看不见我们的主要目标。下面让我们来看看第四个语言点。Apparently sensitive to criticism, the bull forgot all about the matador and charged at the drunk. 那头公牛对挑衅显然十分敏感，他撇开斗牛士，直奔醉汉而来。在这句话中。Sensitive to something 的意思是对什么什么很敏感。又比如 ，We are trying to make people more sensitive to the problems faced by working mothers. 我们力图使大家注意到职业女性身为母亲所面临的困难。He is not sensitive enough. To his own shortcomings, 他对自己的缺点不太敏感。再来看看下面这个语言点。The drunk, however, seemed quite sure of himself. 那个醉汉自己倒是显得信心十足。Sure of somebody 的意思是自信。请多看两个例句。
Bao was so confident, so sure of himself. Bao 总是那么自信，对自己那么有把握。She's not so sure of herself these days. 这些日子，她显得不太自信。再请来关注最后一个语言点。It looked on sympathetically until the drunk was out of the way. 公牛一直满怀同情的看着醉汉，直到醉汉完全走出了视线。在这句话中出现了动词词组 look。On， 他的意思是在一旁看着、旁观。请再看这个例句 ：His parents looked on with a triumphant smile as he collected his prize. 他领奖的时候，他的父母亲带着胜利的微笑在一旁看着。好，这就是课文中的六个值得我们关注的语言点。另外呢？本科课文出现了大量的形容词与介词的搭配，也就是我们常说的形容词词组。下面我们做一个总结。The drunk was unaware of the danger. 醉汉对危险浑然不觉。这句话中的形容词词组是 be unaware of。第二句。The bull was busy with the matador at the time. 公牛那会儿正忙着对付斗牛士。这句话中的形容词词组是 be busy with， 忙于何事。第三句话 ，apparently sensitive to criticism， 显然对挑衅十分敏感的公牛。那么 sensitive to 是我们的第三个。形容词词组表示对什么敏感。第四句话 ，The drunk, however, seemed quite sure of himself. 醉汉自己倒是显得把握十足。我们的第四个形容词词组是 be sure of。最后，请看 ，Even the bull seemed to feel sorry for him. 连那公牛似乎都为醉汉感到遗憾。我们的第五个形容词词组是 sorry for， 为什么感到遗憾？这就是我们对课文中五个很重要的形容词词组的一个小结。在我们做了这个小结之后，大家不妨再做一个功课，那就是把前面所学的课文中出现的形容词词组全都挑出来，一一的记在小本上。每天没事了，拿出来看看、记记，这种总结和回顾，永远是一种非常有效的提高自己英语水平的方法。好，在本课《危险的红色》中，我们遭遇了一头公牛以及一个醉醺醺的醉汉，他们之间发生了让人忍俊不禁的故事。有的人认为 ，bull fighting 和其他一些类似的运动，比如 cock fighting。都是不太人道的。Some people think that bull fighting and other blood sports, such as cockfighting, hunting, etc., are cruel. How would you defend them or criticize them? 不知道大家是同意这种观点呢，还是反对这种观点？同意这种观点的人，你的理由是什么呢？反对这种观点的人，你又是站在哪个立场上来说话的呢？ Okay, that's what we have got time for this lesson. Thank you for being with us. See you next time.